Have you noticed that your cat is drinking more and peeing more and eating more and still losing weight? Well, it could be a sign of diabetes in cats, which is a common hormonal condition that affects their ability to regulate their blood sugar. And in this video, I will give you nine possible signs of diabetes in cats. The number one sign that people usually complain about when they are wondering if their cat has diabetes is that this cat is drinking a lot of water. So what you'll notice is they're draining their water bowls more frequently, or they're trying to drink out of other things. They're just thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. This is also a common sign with kidney disease and several other conditions. So it's important if you see this sign, drinking a lot, or any of the other signs that I'm going to be talking about, you call a veterinarian and schedule an appointment to have your cat evaluated. The number two sign goes along with the number one sign, and it, that is peeing a lot. So these cats will drink a lot and then they will pee a lot. And that's because they're dumping sugar into their blood and sugar is a diuretic. So it pulls water with it when it goes into the urine. The body doesn't know what to do with all the extra sugar. And so it just dumps it into the urine and then that pulls more water. So these cats pee more and then that causes them to drink more. And the main sign that you'll see is just lakes in the litter box or way bigger clumping um, sections of litter than you used to see. The number three sign is weight loss. So this is a little bit later in the disease. The, the first ones that they or typically see is drinking a lot and peeing a lot, but then once they've had it for a little while is weight loss. And so these cats, you know, used to be 12 pounds and now they're eight pounds or something like that. And the reason that happens is because insulin is needed to move sugar from the blood into the body cells where it can be utilized. Well, insulin is not doing its job. And so the sugar stain in the blood and then it just gets excreted out into the urine. And so they're not getting the energy that they need. They're not getting the groceries that they need. And so they start to lose weight. The fourth sign uh, goes along with weight loss and it's muscle loss. So since the cat cannot get the energy that they need from their food, they start to catabolize their muscles uh, to get the energy that they need. And so what you'll notice is when you pet these guys, they have a lot of muscle mass, especially along their spine and their back is where you'll mostly notice it. Also, these cats are not feeling so well, so when you're petting and you notice their hair coat, you'll often notice that they're not grooming as much as they should. And they'll often have a oily hair coat with dandruff along their back and their back will feel bonier than it used to. The fifth sign that I see in diabetics cats is that these cats are almost always, not all the time, but almost always obese. These cats are fat, fat cats and they have type two diabetes, which isn't true diabetes. They have developed m insulin resistance because of the fat cells. What we know now about fat is it's a hormonal organ and it can actually interfere with insulin doing its job. So typically these cats are obese, even after they start to lose weight. And the good news about type two diabetes in cats, especially obese cats, is it can often be reversed by just getting them on a healthy weight loss program. So that's good news. The number six sign that I see in diabetic cats is called down in the hocks, down in their hocks. And basically they develop a peripheral neuropathy, so a disease of their peripheral nerves that causes them to lose the ability to stand normally in their back legs. And what you'll notice is instead of standing up on their toes like they do, they will, they'll be standing flat down on a foot instead. And it looks really weird because normally they're walking around on their toes, but what you'll notice is they're basically standing on a foot in the back instead of up on their toes. So that's called down in the hocks, it's called a plantigrade stance, and it's a cardinal sign for diabetes in cats. The number seven sign that I see in diabetics cats is that they have lower energy than normal because they're just not feeling good. The blood sugar's all over the place and it just doesn't make them feel good. So these cats that used to be active and playful suddenly are sleeping a lot more or we're just walking around more slowly and you know, acting excessively tired. 
The number eight sign I see in diabetic cats is that they have, in addition to everything I've already told you about, they have vomiting. These cats will often have some sort of GI upset that's associated with the diabetes. And so one thing owners often complain about is that they're peeing a lot, they're drinking a lot, they're eating a lot, they're losing weight and they're vomiting. So vomiting is also seen with a lot of diabetic cats. And the number nine sign of diabetes in cats is actually um, associated with diabetic ketoacidosis, which is a life-threatening condition that can develop in unregulated uh, diabetic cats when their blood sugar has been up for so high for so long, they start having abnormalities in their uh, metabolism that causes them to create ketones. And these cats will come in and they'll be in a life-threatening situation. They'll, they'll be very depressed. Some of them are in comas. They're extremely dehydrated. They are, um, they are in shock often. And these are the kids that are really, really sick because they haven't been treated. So if that is ever noticed in your cat, go to the vet immediately because it's a life-threatening situation. So there you go. Those are the top nine signs that I, as a veterinarian, see when I uh, have people bring in their cats that they think might be diabetic. So if you're seeing any of these signs, schedule an appointment with your veterinarian as soon as possible to get your cat evaluated to see if these signs are indeed due to something like diabetes or could be something else. And if you've had a diabetic cat, um, please share your experience with us in the comments section. We'd love to hear your experience, the signs that you noticed, what were the things that made you curious to see whether your cat was suffering from this, and then what happened afterwards, what happened in your um, cat's diabetic journey. And if you like this content, hit subscribe. I come on here fairly often and I do a lot of videos for cats.com. So I will be back more with more information for you. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.